How long would it take to get to each planet in our solar system? One surprising thing about space travel is how much fuel you need to save in order to slow down so you don't fly right past your target. That's because in space, nothing slows you down. There's no friction, no air resistance. Once you get going, you stay going. And everything out there already is moving at tens of thousands of miles per hour around the sun. Earth, Jupiter, Mars. In order to get to a different planet, you have to match its speed as well. So obviously there's a lot of factors, but here's how long it would take to reach some of our neighbors based on typical mission timelines. Mercury is one of the hardest. As you fall towards the sun, gravity actually speeds you up. So you have to use something called gravity assists, flying by other planets to use their gravity to slow you down in order to reach Mercury. This could take six to seven years. Venus could be much faster, maybe five months. Mars on average takes seven months. Jupiter is quite a bit further, so that could take five to six years to get there. Saturn is around seven years. Uranus would take at least eight and a half years, and Neptune could take over 12 years to reach. Of course, it depends on when you launch and what kind of trajectory you use, but those are some estimates for you. Going back to Mercury, let's say we wanted to do a flyby and not take six or seven years to get there. What do you think is the fastest possible time we could get to Mercury with our current technology? Put your answers and other questions in the comment section and let's chat.